Thank you. Thank you very much. Look at that. You're spot on. Well done. Thank you. A joke. Um, Joanne, please. Kia ora, ko jo aho ko ben tako, and I found out he kai fakati kiti kareo kareo aho. I'm a speech language therapist. The first thing I just wanted to say is you need to use plain language in consultations. We've got 16% of New Zealand adults have got good literacy, the rest haven't. You're not accessing people. I'm here today to talk about community centre at 10 Shirley Road that we lost after the earthquake 13 years to months, 26 days ago. We're still waiting for a replacement. We're wanting some equity for our community. At the moment, we've had no investment, except for flood works since the earthquakes. <coughs> we've been dealing with the obstacle course of council bureaucracy and consultations. We keep coming up with solutions, but barriers continue to be put in place. We, at the last LTP, we had a petition of the 1,200 residents requesting a community centre to be rebuilt. And that LTP around the council put money into the budget and asked staff to do a feasibility con study into the concept of including a library into the facility. In July last year, they finally went out for another community consultation but did not even mention that concept. It feels to us like the tail is wagging the dog. We have given the same message consistently since the earthquake, multiple meetings, community conversations, etc. We want a community centre back on site. And we need support from the council to make sure that this actually does happen. We need staff to work with us and help remove the barriers. Um, the Shirley Library is the second busiest library in Christchurch. It's had a bit of a renovation, so it looks lovely. The staff are amazing. They do amazing things in the space they've got but they're limited in what they can offer in the space and facilities that they have. Um, there's huge infill housing all through the communities around 10 Shirley Road. If the developers' fees were restored back to previous levels, that would help pay for all of the infrastructure and facilities that communities need. So what we want is for the $240,000 that was put in the budget to be brought forward to this financial year for a planning and design. We want the build budget brought forward. We've had enough of waiting. We really want our community to be able to move forward and we'd love some equity across the city. There are other places getting amazing facilities. We just want the same as other places. Thank you. Very good. <coughs> any, any questions, please? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, so Jo, and for those that don't know, Jo's a former community board member here in Christchurch, so she knows the system pretty well. With the, um, you say equity in other areas getting beautiful facilities, do you think that's one of the problems that some of our facilities are too beautiful? Because our square meterage rate that we build at is well beyond commercial rates. So should we be standardising and building the same style building, a cut and paste, cookie cutter around, that's a community centre, that's a library, so it can be shared around a lot more because there's limited I value? I think that would be far more sensible. I don't think we need to have like amazing architecturally designed facilities on every space. We can have plain good buildings, basic good facilities basic, strong that are energy things efficient. that can deal with a few shakes and bad ground. Yeah, okay, thank and you. And meet the community needs. Right, so you're not asking for the Rolls Royce? You're asking no, we for the, a good Toyota. No, we can take anything. Um, thanks, Jo. What's the um, total budget and the plan for that? It's $3 million. At the Only moment. $3 million. Thank you. <laughs> There's that equity. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for coming in. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we now have James. Haven't seen you for ages, buddy. Yes, I have the 